That takes us to the question on pro-business. We need to attract more businesses and grow our existing businesses. Are we missing one? No, I think Don't start yet. Let me back up. What will you do to make it easier for people to start small businesses and to protect small businesses from being destroyed by government intrusion and barriers so that they can grow and thrive? What will you do to make McHenry County a home to large companies? At the county board, one of the things that we could do is to look at the regulations that the county imposes upon it, uh, the companies that come into the county. But at the same time, that's got to work in concert with all the municipalities. Because when you have uh, the, the cities that impose regulations on them, you have county that imposes them and the state, we all got to work together when we start reducing those regulations on them and reducing the tax burden for those companies, then they're more apt to want to come to uh, uh, McHenry County. And we want to retain those people and have it where we can have them employ more people of McHenry to get them off the government rolls. Then we prosper and then we can have that as an example for the rest of the state to follow that here's how you have an efficient government that attracts businesses and maintains the citizenship. Thank you. Um, I, I agree. I think one of the things that we have to do is we have to have conversations with our local businesses, find out what their needs are, identify them, and help them achieve those goals. I know recently during the COVID crisis, the county did reduce the cost of permit fees for people because we knew that they were struggling financially. Um, the area that I would focus the most in on, however, is streamlining average processes. We know when someone goes in to get a building permit or a liquor license, something that we know happens on a regular basis time after time after time, there should be a way to streamline those processes so it takes minimal amounts of staff time and minimal cost to the county. We also need to really move to an online system so that we're not requiring people to come into offices all the time again and have that staff back and forth. We can have permitting online and make it easier for people to go ahead and, and get those permits for businesses. But I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. One of the issues that we really have to focus in on is providing those amenities that keep businesses in McHenry County and attract businesses to McHenry County. And those are things like infrastructure. If you want to attract businesses, you have to make a regulatory environment that is friendly to businesses. Uh, I own a business in one of the most regulated industries in the country. Uh, the federal process for getting a firearms license and for maintaining that license, um, it, it's an ongoing, uh, constant, um, just, just to keep up with the changes in regulations, um, takes many, many hours, and uh, it's just a, a complete maze that you have to go through. Uh, we do that to businesses here at the local level too. Maybe not on as large of a scale, but our, our permitting processes, our licensing processes, our zoning in McHenry. The McHenry County UDO in many ways was great because it gave us more of a, a consistent across the, way, the board, this is how we're gonna apply things. But it is so intrusive on property owners and does so much to stifle the ability to open and grow businesses in this county. Uh, we need to be constantly looking at how government does things, whether it's something that the government should be regulating or not. Uh, the, one of the very first things J.B. Pritzker did when he was sworn in as governor was sign the Illinois Gun Dealer Licensing Bill into law. That bill put more than half of Illinois' gun shops out of business all on the same day. Regulations like that from the government are not benefiting the people. Um, the, the stated goal by some of the people as they were debating that, some of the, our legislators, was that they wanted less gun stores. We have the same sort of attitude on the county board when it comes to deciding which businesses should thrive and which ones should be um, taxed and uh, regulated to the point where they can't thrive and grow. 
we, we need to let the market regulate the market. Um, we as citizens decide what products we want to buy. If we want a business to succeed, we frequent that business. Um, it, it should not be the government picking the winners and losers in business. Time.